Intellectual ladies, are you harboring animosity for an ex or a past lover? This is something that happens to us, especially if in the moment of separation or divorce, we felt it was really unfair or it was unjustified or we didn't deserve what we had to go through. And especially if the person continues to maybe make your life difficult for whatever reason, you may find that you have this hurt or anger still directed toward that person even if the time has passed. It is important to work past this because what is going to happen is when you meet someone new who may be the person you want to now be with, anything that person says that triggers or reminds you of the hurt that the ex made you feel, you are going to end up in a space where you are not thinking logically and you may say something that you don't mean or you may just retract into your, your shell like if you're introverted like me and not deal with what is going on in the new relationship in a healthy way because you are still accessing past triggers and traumas that you experienced before. So what I would always suggest in this situation is to work on releasing that and an easy way to work on releasing that is to ask yourself, are you a better person now than you were then? Are you happier with the person you have become than the person you were then? And the, the, the main thing about going through relationships and going through difficult relationships is really for us to find our own strength, our own power, our own courage, and to develop ourselves. Once you have been on that journey, then you would know that it's okay that whatever happened, happened. It may have been unjust in the moment. It may have been unfair, but it served to make you a better person. If you would like three foolproof strategies to weed out the losers and find true love, if you are looking for true love over the age of 35, check the link in my bio.